Well, um, yeah, uh, this happened. Um, Brandon Brooks retired. Um, we kind of had a feeling that this was going to happen all year. I mean, I, I was kind of figuring, like, after, like, the fourth month, I was like, after the third month, I was like, okay, well, something is going on, and we need something to happen here. I don't I don't know what it is. We need an update on Brandon Brooks. They didn't give us an update after the bye week. I mean, it was, it was just annoying at this point. Um, Brandon Brooks was a free agent in 2016, and he was a good talent when he came to the Eagles. But, man, like, did we turn him into a promising player? Um, you know, that contract he got after the Super Bowl, even a couple of years after the Super Bowl when he got that, you know, that big contract, which kind of made him the highest paid right guard in the league. Um, unfortunately, injuries held him back. So, Brandon Brooks is retiring. Um, and, yeah. Brandon Brooks, when he's 100% healthy, he's the best right guard in the league. I mean, that's definite. Um, but Brandon Brooks had his press conference and, um, you know, said that he doesn't know at 32 years old, you know, he doesn't know if his body can hold up. His body's kind of telling him, like, you know, maybe you should retire. So, you know, um, between the anxiety that he had in his career, that I never, I never, ever, any player in the league that has anxiety or, you know, has to miss a game because of it, I don't put it towards them. <clears throat> Because I know what it's like, you know what I mean? You you walk into work, uh, you try to keep that stuff outside outside of work, you know, before you take those two steps in the door when you open the door to go to work. So I understand that, you know what I mean? You don't want to affect your team because of it. You want to get yourself better. You know, you're, you're more important than, you know, playing football. You know, that comes first before anything. So when it comes down to it, you know, I, I Brandon Brooks has been phen- phenomenal. And, um, you know, he wants to stay around Philly. Around the, around the fans, around the organization. So it's, it's a good thing. Um, so I wish him well in his retirement and everything he's done for us. Um, you know, he deserves it. He's done. He's given up everything for us. You know what I mean? Um, he, he, he became a very big, promising player. I, I wish he could stay. I wish um, he was our right guard next year. I mean, obviously, if they did something with his cap number, which we're going to get into, um, his cap number was like $19.4 million, which was way too much for what, you know, it, you know, but we, it was too much of a risk. Um, I think to me, it was too much of a risk um, with his injuries and what he was going to do. So, um, you know, there was no update on him all year until if you, when you're watching this, whenever you're watching this video, he has press conference uh, today and uh, yeah, he is retiring. So when it comes down to Brandon Brooks's numbers going into 2022, this, this season. Okay. Now, Brandon Brooks. So what the Eagles did with, they, they restructured Brandon Brooks. They saved $12 million. Uh, they took his dead cap money, okay? So his dead cap went from $19.4 million to $7.1, which is a huge difference. And they save about $12 million from that restructure. The rest of it, guaranteed, not much guaranteed money for Brooks, maybe over a million. I mean, nothing much, base salary. Um, and then the, he's pretty much off the, off the books after 2022. So uh, the Eagles saved $12 million, which should give the Eagles $24 million in cap space. But the other money that hasn't rolled over, the other millions of dollars that haven't rolled over from 21 to 22 hasn't happened. It hasn't been updated yet. So once post-June comes, you know, then things will settle a little bit more with some of these contracts, which obviously we have other contracts to pay at the end of this year or throughout this year, like Josh Wett, Jordan Mulata, you know, um, Avante Maddox, some of these other contracts, you know, that we have. So um, it should be interesting. So the Eagles save another $12 million from this. I mean, this is what this was a cap stability move. Obviously, with a player retiring, you have to, you have no choice but to make a move like this. So, I mean, you're only eating, you're only eating seven million dollars in dead cap than you would be nineteen point four million. So, yeah, it's a big difference, and you're saving twelve million dollars in the process of this whole entire thing. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. So, Brandon Brooks retiring. Uh, I wish him well. And, um, and that's it. I mean, at this point, guys, like I think we're, I mean, I think this is a top five offensive line. If they get a promising right guard, which I think they probably should target a guard in this draft this year. Um, I like Jack Driscoll a lot at right guard. Um, but I just don't think he's the guy, a good backup. And then Nate Herbig could play both guard spots on top of it. So, I mean, you got a lot of good depth at guard right now. Plus Isaac Samalo is coming back. So what are they going to do with him with Land Dickerson at left guard? So, there's a lot of questions with this offensive line going to this year, but it's, you know, the offensive line is great Go for the future. Um, a lot of young talent here. So 
other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you guys think about the retirement brand, Brooks, what it means, the amount of money we saved, and, you know, that's pretty much about it. So just to update you guys, I remember making a video a couple weeks ago saying that there was rumors about brand Brooks retiring. So other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys later. Chicks, what up? Follow slide. Peace out, guys. Peace.